It seems like all hope is officially not lost for this new Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign album because earlier today Kanye West got on his Instagram and seemed to drop three different dates for three different versions of Vultures, which kind of insinuates to the fact that we are getting three new albums from Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign. So if you guys want to keep up with this entire Vultures rollout, smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we are going to be doing update videos just like this on a weekly basis. Baloo, it's Vulture season and I think yes, that... Sir. When you look at what Kanye West is doing with Ty Dolla Sign for this rollout, um, at some points within the rollout, you think it's not even coming out, and now we have three different release dates. So take us through what happened. Absolutely. So Kanye got on his Instagram stories today, and he actually revealed three release dates for Vultures. Uh, Vultures Volume 1 dropping February 9th, which was the date that the iTunes um, pre-save link was set for, so that made sense. Vultures Volume 2 scheduled for March 8th, and then Vultures Volume 3 scheduled for April 5th. So it seems like he's spreading out these different volumes a month apart. And now we don't really know what these volumes are going to consist of, right? They could be each their own albums featuring different songs. They could be remix versions, deluxe editions of the original Vultures Volume 1. That sort of remains a mystery for now. But this is good news if you're a Kanye fan, right? Because I feel like I could speak for us and the entire Kanye fan base that before this announcement came out, we were ready to hang it up on the shelf and lose all hope and just forget about the album entirely because it seemed like it was hopeless. But now, this is the first time, we have. this is important, the first time ever within the rollout that he himself comes out with a release date, if you think about it. Absolutely. It's a great strategy as well because there was also three different covers that were released um, for the branding of these three different projects. So if you guys want to pay attention to this, you have one for Volume 1, one for Volume 2, and then one for Volume 3. And there's so not it's much a, going on, though. It's just, yeah, it's like, just he, he changed it's, it's like, the, the filter. <clears throat> he changed the filter the on them, you know? But it's still cool. I like the different variations of it, and it kind of makes everything feel um, kind of united in one as far as this rollout goes. I also find it um, quite interesting that he is going to be releasing these over the span of the next three months, obviously, because... You have the date of the 9th, the 8th, and then after that, the 5th, um, spanning through February, March, and April 5th. So what's interesting about that is maybe he wants people to have time to live with the projects. Maybe he's going to be making adjustments, just like he did with The Life of Pablo, for example, for certain projects. So if you have to take your guess, right, because we have three different projects right now, where do you think each of them are going? Um, we got some sort of branding ideas with like the Havoc edition, for example. So do you think maybe that's going to be something... I don't know, a bit more out of the ordinary for Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign. Like, what's the feeling behind these different editions for you? Yeah, so talking about the Havoc edition, we saw that story come right before the story post that was showing the clip for the music video, um, which was the music video for the trailer of this album. But that makes me think that maybe Havoc produced the new beat that you got to hear within that trailer, or maybe one of these volumes of Vultures will actually be Havoc's edition where he's reproducing all of the beats and giving different instrumentals for Kanye and Ty Dolla and company to rap over. So that's yet to be known to us. But speaking about this official trailer, I didn't really like it too much. I'm going to be honest with you. It, I liked it. it in terms cool. of the quality of it, it, it seemed like it was a cam rip, like something that you would find on like an illegal website to stream movies. That's the kind of quality that I got on that's my end. That's why I like it, though. That's why um, I like the visuals. Though. It also seems much darker. Um, so that's kind of setting the tone for the album in terms of it not being as light and as uh, gleeful as maybe something like a Don the Regis's King was. So, how do you like the direction, by the way, if Kanye goes into more of a darker tone and palette for this new album? I I'm okay with that. I mean, whatever direction or you know mood or tone he wants to set, that's fine and all. But the music has to be fire. And from the snippets that I've heard, the very few snippets, because as we've mentioned before. We're trying to stay away from these snippets so that we could go into the album fresh. I'm not impressed. Like, this is probably the least excited I've ever been for a Kanye West album, um, which could be a good thing, right? Because when you go into something with low expectations, nothing could happen but them being boosted by the music. So we'll see what ends up happening. But how are you feeling about this? And let me ask you this, because this is really the question that's on everyone's mind right now. Is he going to stick to these fucking dates? Come on, we've answered this question before, especially in other videos. Well, it's new dates, and now they're coming uh, from uh, him. Yeah, We're in a different scenario. He's done this before. He, he's done the whole date himself before. He did it for Yandy. I'm like, what happened to that? That never released, so, and he never finished So what are you album. saying? You don't think so? I, I think they're probably going to get delayed again. Maybe. You know, that's my estimate. At this point, like, how could you put your money out, like, elsewhere? It just doesn't make sense, if I'm being honest with you. Um, looking at February 9th, it's quite interesting, because now um, the first release date was back in mid-December, so this would be close to a two-month delay for the first volume of Vultures. Um, I'm just anxious just to see what happens with the rest of them because 
you know, he has trouble committing to one release date. So now we got three of them to commit to. So I think what happens is that maybe you get the ninth and then you don't get anything else because that's also a possibility. What happens if the reception of the album isn't that great and he doesn't want to put out the other mm -hmm. two, right? That's that's also a possibility. Artists and record labels do that all the time. So that's definitely in the cards. But as far as the dates, I'm not necessarily sold into them. I think that it's probably going to be like, these are the periods in which it's dropping. You know, this is what we're going for. Um, I also think it's a good indication that the rollout is still alive. There's still things going on. Uh, I think that's probably a good indication that these albums are coming out. But then again, we said that last time, and then we got radio silence for a couple of weeks, and the rollout kind of came to a halt. So how about you? Looking at these dates, what do you think he does with them? Do you think he drops them on the night of? Do you think that he drops them on the weekend of these um, of these dates? Like, where do you think this goes? Well, I think, like you mentioned, obviously, like this definitely revived the excitement, the hype, and the actual rollout itself because we all thought that it might it might have been dead completely but now by getting these dates and him announcing them sure there's hope but at the same time like i almost wish that he hadn't given us these dates because again it's probably going to be broken promises like at this point you can't believe a single date because we're five to six release days deep so at this point if, if you're asking me i would have rather have just gotten like no nope, dropping the album friday and it comes out rather than like well let's get some non-official dates and see what ends up happening test our luck well but february 9th is only two weeks away at the time yeah, of this recording exactly so, I mean, it's really not that far off but let me ask you something else okay because kanye west is obviously renowned for his rollouts um you see the most spectacular rollouts of the year usually come out from him and his camp uh so let me ask you something else all right and they're usually fragmented just like this right you get release dates they don't come out you get listening parties nothing happens and then eventually somehow some way that's when it ends up coming through so for you like not have you enjoyed this rollout, but do you trust the rollout? Let me ask you that. Like, are you fully invested into this rollout, let's say, like you've <laughs> been for other Kanye West rollouts? Because we've been through this before. We've been yeah. through the Donda situation. We went through Yandy. We went through so many different rollouts and nothing materializes or you end up getting a studio album. So how are you enjoying it as a whole? I mean, I'm not enjoying this rollout. I think this is the, the worst rollout of his career, to be honest with you. Again, this is the most canceled dates that we've ever seen. Um, we've also had a lot of the music come out and the reception has been pretty good. People seem to be enjoying the music, but, um, again, from the verses that I heard, I feel like it's maybe a bit lackluster in terms of the effort Connie seems to be putting in. Um, not a fan of the artwork. Like I'm, I'm trying to find silver linings within it. It seems um, like you're not interested in this I, album. Luke. I'm interested in hearing the album cause it's Kanye West. Am I interested in what I'm getting up to this point? Absolutely not. Um, but let me ask you this in terms of. Your trust within the rollout, like where where is your head at? And also, after answering that, I want you to tell me what you think these three volumes are going to be. Are they going to be separate albums? Are they going to be deluxe versions? What's your guess for that? Yeah, so I'll answer the first question with the rollout, where I'm at with it. Honestly, I don't care. I'm being honest. Like at this point in time. If you um, get it, you get it. If I get it, I get it. But I've always kind of been like that with Kanye rollouts, where I'm obviously excited for new music from Kanye West. He's a leader of our, you know, of the entire generation that we came up with. The entire music. genre, yeah, I, exactly. So I really can't, I really can't complain on that front. And I've been in this rodeo before. I've been in this boat. I'm not mad about it. I'm not frustrated. Whatever happens, happens. And it's kind of the whole mystique with Kanye West. It's almost good marketing to a certain extent because it keeps everyone on the edge of their seats. It's like, okay, well, is it coming or is it not? And I think that mystique for the marketing has played really well into it. So. I don't mind that. Like you said, um, not that I have low expectations for the music, but I kind of have no expectations for it. Because if you would have asked me to call Donda a couple of years ago, uh, before the listening parties, obviously... I wouldn't have been able to answer that answer of like what it's going to sound like, what the quality is going to be like, how am I going to live with the album? So as far as that sort of stuff, I don't know. I don't really have a care for it. I'm going to go into the listening night and I'm going to kind of answer that as I go through my first listen and through multiple listens. But talking about these three new studio albums, I guess you could call them three new studio albums. I think it's going to be remakes of the original version or maybe you're going to get bonus tracks on each and every single one. That's another possibility. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Kanye West is known to alter the music after release. So maybe you're going to see certain production flips. Maybe you're going to see new vocals being added. Maybe you're going to see new mixing and engineering techniques on a certain project that you know now you didn't see on the previous one so that's what i'm kind of anticipating i don't think it's going to be a complete rebrand of the mm -hmm. project where you get a completely different track list but you're going to see different altered versions of it but let me ask you that same question your final predictions for now these three albums because that's what's really in the realms of possibility right now what do you think you get out of each one if it ends up releasing i think it's definitely going to be tweaks we saw that you know kanye loves tweaking donda where he gave us the deluxe version different track list 
order also made us play with the actual music itself through the stem player. So I feel like he's going to, you know, follow suit with that in the sense of giving us different versions of the same music and giving us um, sort of different creative output in terms of what he's actually cooked up. I saw some theories online of yeah. people saying that it might be a solo album, then the the Kanye Ty Dolla Sign album, and then a different album completely. I have another so, question for you, by the way, after you finish your thought. Go for it. I mean, yeah, th that's pretty much it. Again, I think it's just going to be like a deluxe type of vibe where you have reworked instrumentals and added tracks, but that's where, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm maybe hoping to get because three albums back to back, all different. It'd be cool, but it's a lot. It's a lot, and it's like, how do you live with the music? Was it really was it really really a lot of care put into it? If it's being given out that quickly, I don't know. So maybe you get two different deluxe albums. Let me ask you this, okay? So you mentioned the solo album, and I don't think that's out of the realms of possibility, right? Because mm -hmm. he hasn't dropped the solo album since 2021, um, and before that, I believe it was Jesus is King. You had Yay that came out, and you know he seems like he's going on a run right now, and that there's sort of like a new. I guess, spark of creativity, a new spark of, let's say, emotion going into music. It seems like he's inspired right now to be releasing music. So let's say we do get the three different versions, right? You get Vultures 1, 2, and 3. And they're not completely different albums, right? So they're the same album, okay. but with the tweaks that you had said, maybe different remixes, certain added tracks here and there, whatever the case may be. Do you think he does like he did in Wyoming, where he drops those three projects and then he even has a fourth one, like he did in 2018, but now it's a solo project leading into this one? Or do you think that this is going to be like the final Kanye West like rollout run for 2024? I think we'll be lucky to get one of these versions. So if that answers your question, oh, I, I, answer. I, I don't think there's going to be a solo album that comes out this year. I mean, I hope so. That's what I'm really interested in more than anything else that he's announced okay, up to Okay, so this are point. you kind of looking at Vultures differently now because it's a Ty Dolla Sign collaboration album? I'm looking at it just based, again, on like a uh, face value said, yeah, of what I've received. Yes, but, but you, you said, but there was, a, there was an interesting thing you said, and I don't mean to interrupt yeah. you. You had said that um, that's what I'm more interested in. Absolutely. You know, the solo album. And I'm, I'm with you. Honestly, I, I've been... Because I, 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 I'm getting a vibe and the aura of what this album is going to be like, and I'm just not that into it. So I'm definitely... I, I'm down for whatever is going to be fresh and different from whatever's going on right now. Even if he gets JPEG Mafia in the mix now? I, I want him to get JPEG Mafia. I hope <laughs> that, that they, they have the song. That would be crazy. Because I mean, you know how those minds work. You know, you get creative like minds like that in the same studio sessions, and you get them creating different types of tracks, and it could just be absolutely crazy so do you think he's maybe throwing some curveballs with what he's been previewing and you're going to get something completely different like because we've had a bit of material that's been previewed from the album so far well yeah i think you know the, the jpeg mafia feature is a perfect indication that this track list is probably incomplete and it's going to be well they worked link. on you don't know up until you, the you, date yeah you don't know if that's going to happen well jpeg tweeted vulture so like all signs are pointing towards it happening that's where what we're do you think that sounds like what do you think a jpeg mafia and kanye west song is going to sound i think like? the closest thing we can compare it to is obviously jpeg's you know crazy um multi-dimensional production and maybe getting kanye in a manic yeezus type of bag yeah that's kind of if what i would meet imagine in that middle ground but i don't think kanye west ever like goes back to an old aesthetic and tries to make it new again. But I no, think that but if you, you could find of, that middle ground. Yeah, you could find that middle ground of like Kanye and his manic bike, something that well, feels a lot more brash And, and in your think face. about it, it won't be for a full album. Like, for example, Believe What I Say obviously has heavy college dropout vibes, and that was, that was one song off of Donda. So I think that you could definitely have one song that reminds you of a certain era, and I think that's what we'll get. I think it would be a huge W for the community if JPEG Mafia ends up getting on this album, just because, you know, as JPEG was tweeting, like... He's a valuable artist. That is a creative is. genius. Someone that puts together incredible studio album experiences. Someone that just came off of a fresh album, The Year Contender, with Scaring the Holes with Danny Brown. So to be able to get that type of creative mind on the album not only gives me hope, but it's like, well, you have Freddie Gibbs in there. And you have certain names, you know, stemming from the community that could really make this a complete album experience. So does that add a bit of extra hope for these volumes coming out? It does. I mean, he's the most interesting collaborator that we've seen Ye pair up with um, throughout this entire rollout because they've never worked together. We know that they're both incredible rappers slash producers. So um, the options just for what the creativity sessions might be like in the studio between the two of them, it's... Um, it must be ridiculous. It's incredible. Imagine so, being in those studio sessions and watching those go down live. Imagine yeah. how crazy that is. Just the unpredictability factor of that music is going to be incredible. But last thing, yeah. do you want to place a bet? I say that it comes out on the 9th. Oh. I say it comes out on the ninth. I'm How, saying do, it. Do I, do, do I still owe you? What, what do we have in our... No, I, in I our think bank? we're even. Yeah, we're clean slate, right? Yeah. We said we're clean slate. We're even Steven. No, I don't want to put any bets on Steven. No, right? I'm, I'm okay. okay. We're gonna, if it drops, we'll do first week sales. How about right. that? Sounds if it good. drops, we'll end up doing Fair first enough. week sales. But guys, listen. If this ends up... Okay, hold on a second. 
if this ends up dropping, you better believe we are going to be doing a live album reaction to it. And I know we promised it the last time, but we just kind of got like blindsided. It didn't end up coming out. But guys, listen, it's going to be one of the biggest live album reactions of the year. So if you guys want to check out the live album reaction tier, um, it's on our Patreon plan. It's going to be going down on February 9th. It's probably going to be going down on the other dates as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the Patreon plan. It's going to be one of the biggest moments for the community in the entire year. So much love to everyone. Turn on that notification bell if you want to keep up with more Kanye West updates. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.